let's begin with security threats understanding the major types of security threats now here we have a list of some of the major security threats when you are facing those in your day-to-day -day life so let's talk about these one by one so the first one we will talk about is virus now it's a kind of malicious program that installs into your computer and you have a threat that comes in this virus could be of various types you could have boot viruses that are commonly called as trojans that could be seen there could be a companion virus which comes along with another virus that is entering into the system or there could be a virus hoax that means there is a kind of warning which is not relevant there is no virus despite there is a warning that there is a virus that has come up so that's a kind of virus hoax so those are kind of common virus uh, viruses that we come across with the next is spyware now spyware is one that secretly tries to collect information so there is a very close linkage between spyware and adware so be very careful while understanding those spyware collects the information so collecting the user information is the main idea when there is a spyware that is installed onto a system it hiddenly comes into the system gets installed and tries to collect the information through the traditional viruses that are there adware comes onto your system as an advertisement so the main function is bringing or propping up of advertisements and that is a unwanted advertisement that is being shown spam you are all all of you are well aware about it so whenever you open your email accounts you have a spam where you have all uh, unwanted emails that are collected in now these three terms are very very important and a little confusing so understand these very very carefully the first is spoofing spoofing means when a user is trying to get into an information that is unwanted or he is trying to get into control of an unauthorized information so let's say uh, the banking passwords so that is authorized only for me i know my banking passwords but what happened with this spoofing is you have an unauthorized access that is being granted to access the other uh, authorized content that is there so that is spoofing the next is phishing now phishing is when you have a sen sensitive information which is being captured by a person who pretends to be a user he is actually not the user but he just pretends to be a user and hence since the person is pretending to be a user he or she uh, the that would try to capture the sensitive information farming is a very very advanced form of phishing what happens is if you come across any website that obviously appears very much similar to the original website and that is where you have your uh, let's say banking information that you try to enter or your username password that you try to enter and that is what is farming because that is not the real website where you are entering your data and since you are entering your data your information on another website your username your passwords or your banking information could get hacked and that is a very very advanced a very very sensitive form of phishing which is called as farming so farming becomes very very important the next is mail bomb now as the name suggests it's excessively large emails that are there with thousands of messages being dropped up and that is what is ba uh, mail bomb scareware uh, as the name suggests you are made afraid about something and since you are made afraid about something you try to uh, basically move out of it and try to get rid of it and that's where you have the scareware so scareware tries to threaten you and when a person is threatened or person is affected by it uh, that person would basically be at a risk the next is sniffer now what is a sniffer whatever traffic is coming to the network is gradually monitored and this is where you have sniffers now sniffers try to access important data sometimes confidential data could be leaked because whatever traffic is flowing in through the system would be monitored through the sniffer and finally you have rootkits now rootkits are 
very hidden program similar to the spywares or the viruses that are there but the main idea is they are at the registry key uh, registry entry level so if you are using windows as an operating system they would be at the register entry level and therefore they are at the very root and therefore the name rootkit so those are a type of common security threats very very important you must be well aware about those and as we said this uh, farming is the most recent one and the most important among these where you have exact duplication of the website and since there is exact duplication except the url the person get confused and enters the uh, credentials and there is where you have the security threat or the security risk that comes in so here we have talked about security threats in the next lecture we would be talking about how to prevent or what are the measures which are taken in order that these security threats are not witnessed so stay tuned for next lecture have a wonderful day